Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Up, we have Tilted, a game device that helps kids to improve physical and balance issues, and it is going to be presented by the Media Innovation Lab, part of the Interdisciplinary Center based in Israel. Uh, okay, hello, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, shalom, like we say in my country. Um, this is Adi, my name is Tali. We're from the Media Innovation Lab in Israel. Uh, we are part of a team of computer science students, interactive communication, and psychology. And today we'd like to talk, you, to, talk to you about Tilted. Uh, but first, let me introduce you to Ofek. He's my nephew, he's six years old, and um, Ofek has balance difficulties. Um, we know that because last year my sister noticed that he, he doesn't quite play outdoors uh, quite as much as his friends. And, um, we know, that, and we know that the recommended treatment, we now know, the recommended treatment is a weekly meeting with a professional physical therapist. One in six kids suffers from balance difficulties. In the United States alone, it comes up to over two million children. These kids usually meet with a professional physical therapist once a week, but they're still lacking a more frequent home-based practice opportunity. So this is the void we wanted to fill, um, and this is why we created Tilt-It. Tilt-It is a physical digital game platform intended to motivate children to engage in balance-based games. Um, Tilt-It empowers uh, the physical therapy process as well as the children by adding fun, thrill, and independency to the practice. During our process, we met with a lot of experts and a lot of uh, physical therapists. We learned a lot from them regarding balance difficulties. Um, but it was really important to us to work with children, so we've done a lot of user testing. For our first prototype was a commercial balance board uh, that we put, uh, put together a real quick music-based game just to get initial proof of concept. After that, we developed uh, uh, the excuse me. After that, we developed the classic snake game on a mobile phone. Uh, the snake game is very simple. The user just uh, controls the snake in order to earn, uh, get the dots, and earn points. Uh, the phone goes inside uh, the wobble board, the balance board. We discussed with physical therapists all along. And they told us uh, that in order to work on the child's balance, his gaze should be up and forward. So the next step was to raise the game in, uh, in front of the child on a big screen. So Tilted is actually a new input device, a new game controller. And that is why we see Tilted as a new platform for lots of various fun games. And in the future, these games will come as a set of apps for smart TVs. Now I want to show you a quick video we shot during uh, user testing with Ofek, Tali's sweetest nephew. And I wanted you to pay attention to the way Ofek controls the snake and collects apples to earn points. We're missing sound. So pay attention to how he moves his leg and uh, his feet and the snake reacts to his movements. And that is how he collects the dots and earns more points. So now let's talk about how Tilted works. The main components of the system are the familiar balance board, which includes a smartphone-based accelerometer and a software game application. The sensor tracks and transmits real-time board movements via Wi-Fi to the computer. The child stands on the tilted and controls the game by shifting balance. As you can see, in order to protect the smartphone, we, we built a cover for the balance board, which is made out of layers of wood that we cut in our laser cutter 
in our lab in Israel. Um, just here you can see the pictures from the process. And one of the most important things about Tilted is that Tilted is designed to capture meaningful data. A, a weekly output is emailed to both parent and therapist. This data enables the, the therapist to personalize a weekly therapy plan and allows the parent to easily track his child's progress. This data is based on a few measurements. The first one is the total weekly practice time. The second one is the weekly stability score. And the last one is the game performance. For evaluation of game performance, we devised a new measurement criteria called the tilted control score. This score factors both average weekly game length and average weekly time between apples, which means the object collecting intervals. These two together represent the child's control of the game. So when you have a higher weekly tilted control score, it means you have better balance abilities. And there's also an option to see more detailed data and to see the child's progress over time, over the weeks, as you can see here with different uh, measurements. We envision how the database generated from tilted users worldwide can yield new knowledge for a better understanding of the balanced physical therapy processes. And we also think that this new knowledge can contribute to the diagnosis of uh, uh, balance difficulties all over the world. And now for a dessert, <laughs> uh, we want to show you a live demo here on the stage of Tilted. I would like to invite Amit to the stage. She's one of our developers. Amit. Um. So Amit just turned on the smartphone inside the balance board and, w and stepped on it. This is the, uh, ju you just saw a short video uh, sh showing the child how to step on it so it would be safe and easy. Um, now, I don't know if you can see, but Amit is shifting her, her balance left, right, forward, and backwards in order to control the snake, eat, eat the apples, and more, more, earn more points. At that time, we also uh, measure the time she's playing, the length of the game, and we use all the information we gather in order to create the data Adi just showed you. Looks fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> So we, we invite all of you to come and check it out and try it on your own uh, at the, um, in the demo fest. In the demo fest. And uh, we're really excited that you all can play. And um, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. Awesome job. Thank you. All right. You'd like to start us off? Or? Okay, so the best, in my opinion, the best presentation is the one where you have the judges want to come up and try it. Um, so I'm going to walk You're up. Welcome. Can I just stand on it while yeah, I'm giving yeah, you my of comments? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Because it's that's the best. Um, so so just put your right feet down all the way until you feel safe. And I'm then, wearing heels, everybody. And then raise your other feet. Those shoes, you know. Okay. Wow. Now you can shift right, left. Whatever way you want. So I'm a mother with two children. <laughs> and they don't have balance issues, but they love video games. And this all of a sudden was like, aha, this is an input <laughs> device to get them to exercise and balance. So I was thrilled. The mom in me was thrilled. Um, the mom in me also questioned, if this is an input device, have you thought about other applications? So for example, the best I could come up with while I was sitting there was, could I actually be like folding laundry? By, <laughs> by directing this. Like, is there some kind of, I mean, as an input device, it's fabulous. And I could be getting my exercise and getting housework done, which I hate to do. Um, so that's totally off topic. But I think there's, <laughs> as an input device, it's a very fascinating, interesting example. Um, I'll get off. Oh, no, I'm going to try it a little longer. <laughs> it's really fun. Do you, need a, do you need a hand? Um, <laughs> I guess it could be uh, an input device for, 
for more activities. Actually, we haven't um, put much thought into folding laundry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like you said, it's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of stuff while doing it. When we were all having like um, meetings with the five of us, uh, usually one of us would have stand on it just because it's so fun and it's, it keeps your legs busy while you're talking it, and it actually can help you concentrate better. I feel like I focus on them. Yeah, Thank you. so. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Yeah. Anyone else? Liz is step and three. So I've I've both been a patient on on balance boards before, and I've worked with occupational therapists using them before. So I'm, I um, I always enjoy them. Um, and one of the things that struck me about what you did is it's a, it's a very nice design because it doesn't have to involve specialized hardware. I can just put my own phone there, on there and do it. I guess my question for you is about the therapists you worked with and their opinions. We didn't hear much about that. Mm -hmm. um, I know from my own experience with therapists that one of the things they like to do or they have to do in working with patients is improvise around the patient's interests. Did you provide, did you get that feedback from your own therapists and did you provide a way for them to improvise the platform around their patient's interests? Yes, yeah, so we met with a, a few physical therapists and heard their opinions. We've actually been in a physical therapy sessions with children that have balance difficulties. And we noticed that the, the physical therapist has a lot of different exercises with a lot of different machinery. And at, at first we had a little uh, dilemma which, which uh, machine we want to choose. Um, so we see Tilted as a, just a way to keep the child motivated to play at home. Because, you know, kids today play with their iPads and on their computers and the Xbox and they just come home after school, sit on, their, on, sit on the couch, play with something, and they're not staying very active. And kids that have balance difficulties uh, prefer to stay still and play something that doesn't require much out of them. So when they play a physical game that also has some um, mental um, intervention, they're not thinking about the physical activity. And also our vision is to have multiple games from uh, various fields. You can have, um, let's say like a motorcycle or a slide or different games with different themes. So the therapist can tell the child, okay, today you should play 10 minutes on the ski, on the ski game, then five minutes on the spaceship and you know, just um, so it would be appropriate to the child's, you know, uh, their interest. So does that answer that? <coughs> Thanks. So just quickly, because uh, of time. The, first, I, I, I love the fact that you accelerated your implementation by just putting together existing resources with a minimum amount of glue so you could focus on the real problem. Yeah. And, and so the, and, and, and also congratulations for bringing it so it worked and, and having the, the courage to demonstrate it. So, <laughs> look. so because it makes it, it makes it real. So now the question is, you, what I'm curious about, and if you could talk just briefly, you showed the slides and the data you were collecting. Were those, were those mock-ups or were those actual screenshots? And how far is your implementation on that? And have you, and you don't have to have done this, but have you actually got enough data so far or is it still too early? And if it's too early, do you have plans to continue? So just give me a snapshot of where you are on this because it, it has a future. Okay. So the data you saw is uh, basically a mock-up. Um, we're still working on to figure out, figuring out the algorithm of how to really process all this data that we're collecting. Um, but we're, um, sorry. Um, but we're not so far away from it and um, lost the word, I'm sorry. And uh, we're not so far away from it. And basically, you can, there's still work to be done. And we have children uh, using it. Uh, we're actually, our psychology student is gonna do uh, his uh, final paper uh, for the, for his, uh, to get his degree on the Tilted. And he has to do user testing with children. So he's gonna spend the summer testing it with children. And by then, I assume we're gonna have enough data to really calculate and see an improvement or real graphs. 
Thank you. It's right. great Thank that you. it's got a future. That means the idea had legs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.